Hi my beautiful people, once again today I'm going to show you how to handle style manager using our beautiful application QJS. So the good news is now in QJS you can handle any style depending on the user or you can import different styles to style your data. So for my case I've opened my QJS already, so how do you do it? You just have to go to this main menu here, find this style manager. So by clicking style manager you can get all of your styles. So you see here, you can just move around default or if you have uh, project styles, I'll just pass you through. There is all, there is markers. You can select only markers. There is line. There is if you want to only fill options, the hatches, the solid fill, the gradient fill, the color ramp, you can choose or you can customize accordingly the text format, the default one, and you can just import. The same applies for the label settings, the legend path, and 3D symbols. So this is the style manager. So going down to the tags, so you can have those colorful only, the fun ones, you can put somewhere the grayscale, the showcase, so you can categorize any, okay? So now let me show you how to do it. So now if you want to import a style manager, like a new one, a customized one somewhere, you need to go to the bottom here, there is add tag, you can create a tag and put somewhere, add smart group. So for my case, I'll just go to import, export. So by clicking this drop down, say import item. So by clicking import items, automatically, you will select to the one which is already there. So, but if you don't have one, don't worry. What you try to do, just close, then go to the browse online style. By clicking browse online style, automatically, voila, it will take you there. So there are different varieties, you see? Scrolling to the bottom, you see, there are like more than like four or five pages, so you can scroll. So for my case, I'll just go for, because I have my vector, which is in node, I mean like in point vector, I'll go back, I'll choose the one which is appropriate. So you can search for me, I want to go for the one called bubble. So I'll go to the next bubble, I'll look for bubble, or if you if you can find it, you can just search here, bubble, okay? By class, Clarkson. Yes, so I can, you download it. So by downloading it, the good thing is I've already downloaded it for the sake of this video. So you just download it, after downloading it, you have to extract it. So upon extracting it, it will come as an XML file. So when you're done with that, what you're required to do, go to your QJS, then now you'll have to import now. So I'll import by clicking import items, then file. So it should be XML file. So browse, I have it here, XML, see? So by clicking yes, yes, open, make sure you read the license agreement from Mr. Class. So uh, the good thing is it's okay, we can use it. So just select here and then say import. So by importing, that means voila. Doesn't show, but don't worry. Just go to the all, you'll see it here. So just like that. So that means I've already customized my style manager. Now I have a new style. So you can always go and download many as many as you can. So now you can customize if you want the one to use, which I use by the map info. They are also there. The ones which I use by ArcJS, for instance, map info styles. You can get them here. You see here. You can have different varieties. You see here. You can have varieties. Actually, I just trying to search, but there are varieties here. You see here. You can go three. Four, you see these are customized summer traveler toy bricks parula so let us go to our qjs now so i have it already so what i'll try to do just close here now that means when i go to my nodes then right click properties i should find my bubble style here so i'll go to the here for instance not favorites i say all symbols i have it here voila so clicking bubbles okay wow i have the bubbles that's like that so this is the way of actually customizing actually downloading from the online sources your style manager and you can see everything aligns accordingly to your map you see you have your bubbles now so that's it so this is the way of playing around your style manager in qjs and importing from browse browse online i mean from the browsed online files and have it all in one place so thank you a lot make sure you subscribe for more marvelous videos like this thank you a lot